Hey guys, what's up? It's Megadan29. I was just recently in the backlogs of uh, Nefarious Wes's videos, and I stumbled upon a video of him and his top three comic book games. So, I want to do a response to it. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. The first one, and these are in no order, comes from the Sega Genesis, Captain America and the Avengers. When I think of Captain America and the Avengers, it just reminds me of me and my brother playing co-op on beat-em-ups when we were little. This was a constant rental. I bet eh, three out of every ten times we rented this one. I would usually pick Iron Man, because he was my favorite as a kid, and my brother would pick Captain America. And we would just run through this game like it was nothing. I just recently played this, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a lot harder than I remembered. But this has always just been one of my favorites. It's got a lot of cool people in it. Um, I really love how it has Mandarin in it because that shows love to the uh, Iron Man series. And like I said, he is, he's definitely one of my favorites. It also has Vision and Hawkeye in it. And this one doesn't need a really big introduction. Everybody knows what this one is. I've actually never played the arcade version. What I will tell you is this. Stay away from the Super Nintendo version. The Super Nintendo version is awful. So for in this instance, which is rare, Genesis did what Nintendo didn't. The second one I got here is the Punisher on PlayStation 2. Man, oh man, oh man, the Punisher on PlayStation 2. Man, Punisher was always my favorite as a kid. Um, I really enjoyed Iron Man like I had just said a minute ago, but my first favorite superhero was the Punisher. And a lot of people don't like to call him a superhero, but he is to me. And, uh, man, you could just do brutal things to people in this game. I remember the piranha tank. You could throw him in there when you went to the zoo level. And the best thing about this game was you could collect, like, the comic books, and it showed all the flashbacks of Frank Castle. And this was just good controls. The sound, I think Thomas Jane was the one who actually talked the Punisher in this. This came out like right after the movie, so this was a really prime time for him. I was actually reading the comic books and everything, so this Punisher game has a lot of memories with me. I remember seeing it in all the magazines and being so, so stoked for it, and it did not disappoint. This game was awesome, and um, just playing it again really brought back a lot of memories. I'm going to have to for sure stream this one. And, uh, yeah, you could unlock a lot of different costumes and do a lot of different things. And it wasn't a short game either, so it definitely gave you your money, money's worth back in the day. And uh, it holds up today, that is for sure. This game is a lot of fun. plays a lot like Max Payne, if you enjoy that. Um, you can go into a rage mode, which is pretty cool. makes you invincible for a while, and you throw knives and do a bunch of crazy, basically, fatalities. But um, basically what you do is interrogate people, and you can figure out things about the level, or you can unlock different memories and stuff. This is just an all-around good game, and crazy enough, one time, most of the time when I talk to people, they haven't really played this one, which I thought was uh, pretty crazy. But yeah, if you ever uh, get a chance, PlayStation 2, check out The Punisher. And last but not least, on the PlayStation 1, and because of Adam, if you watch this, give me back my game. Spider-Man on the PS1. Spider-Man on the PS1 brings back a lot of memories of hanging out with my dad. My dad bought this a long time ago, and we played it at his house. And what I really liked about the game is it had a lot of characters in it. Um, the Punisher being my favorite, he was definitely in this game. I believe Ma I Iron Man was in it as well. Had a lot of people from it. This game controlled really well. Uh, the fighting was really good. It wasn't an incredibly hard game either. I remember I stayed up all night playing this game, and I ended up completing it. And I remember my dad still waking up in the morning and going, getting ready to play it. And he's like, so Daniel, how far did you get last night? And I was like, oh, I beat it. And he was like, what? <laughs> he's like, are you serious? So he's seen my save game file, and he didn't want to look at it for spoilers. But my dad was just blown away, and he's like, man, you really liked this game, didn't you? I was like, yes. I probably ended up, in that weekend, playing through this game like three or four times. Because once you beat it once, you pretty much ran through it pretty quickly. It's not an incredibly long game. Um, it's pretty quick, especially when you get really good at it. But this game, 
just back in compared to games back in the day with superhero games this this controlled extremely well you felt like spider-man you had a lot of cool missions where you're you're crawling on the buildings and doing things and it just had a really good story behind it with all the cool villains in it this game had a little bit of everything in the spider-man universe it's really really good they actually made a second one, and I've never played it as crazy as that sounds. So I always wonder if that one's better. Um, it has Electro in it. But if you guys have never played um, Spider-Man for the PS1, you definitely got to pick it up. It's not an expensive game either. Granted, none of these on my whole list are expensive. These are all very cheap games. Well, guys, that's my list. Wes, thank you so much for making the video. I know it was a response to Michael B. Uh, it was really cool, really badass idea, man. I thought it was really awesome. So I would like to see responses. Let's bring it back, guys. There's a lot of comic book games, so there's a lot to choose from. I'm not even going to do honorable mentions just because I don't want to take anybody's if that's going to be it. But uh, if you don't, if you never, didn't see Wes's video, I'll put it down in the description. It was really good, man. you got to check it out. It's an old one, though. It's from a couple of years ago or something like that, and um, it was really cool. And uh, that's all I got, though, guys. And Adam, br bring back my game. Come on. I, I know it's good. But bring, bring back the game, Adam. <laughs> See you later, guys.